have done it. Another one. I've spoken to the CEOs, the executives, the board of directors. We have enough codes and a budget for one more episode. Okay, to quickly sum it up, we are critiquing your dogs, okay, whether or not they deserve salvation or the incinerator. Determined by definitely not arbitrary or vague uh, criteria such as physicality and mentality, all right? If you want a little bit more, you can look at the, the, the pilot episode, all right? And that should be it. Our first contestant, this is gonna be a bitch to edit, uh, Rocky... Benny Horn. There we go. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, the very thing that started the bubonic plague. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you extra brownie points for uh, for having functional legs. Now, started off physically, it's revolting. Will it survive in a park? Yes. You think a golden retriever can compete with this? This thing can fly, can spread every disease imaginable. I mean, look at it. Wait, are its legs out of place? Oh, why is it like that? This is the type of shit you would find in Australia's backyard. It could survive in a park, okay? It will be a cryptic to some people. Overall, it could defend itself from humans, uh, fly into trees, maybe, earning itself a point. The city streets. I'll give it like half a point. This creature, this Creedon, would be like one of those urban legends. Uh, was it New Jersey Devil, for instance? So it's either going to be loved or feared by the people. Okay, but the most important thing is that this thing can search through trash. In the end, I'm still going to give it a, a 0 0.5 because any sane person that sees this two-headed dog-sized mosquito walking down the street would want to shoot it. It's, it's not going to last long. Now, the wilderness. That's a definite yes. If it wasn't for the, the body color here, what color would that be? What's the hex code? <laughs> I forgot the tastes and the sounds of the colors. This has been here, live, laugh, love. You know, the head, the legs could blend in with the dirt, whatever the environment is, you know, maybe the mines, you know, the horrific beast inside of there, fluttering in the caves. I should feed it actually, what am I doing? Yeah, I can't be held liable for your death. For wilderness, I'm, I'm gonna give it a one because I mean, I don't think any predator would want to eat this. This thing looks poisonous. Now, obviously we got mobility, but let's talk about the two heads, okay? It, it pr makes them even more dangerous. More likely to rip apart an animal's juggler or just, you know, tear them apart in less than a few seconds. Though I'm probably overestimating it. But you know what? We're here to give it the benefit of the doubt, all right? Now it's time for mentality. Dear God. Was one of the categories whether or not they could be a circus clown? Will it bite a child? The fact that it has two heads would lead me to believe that it would increase the chances of a child going through character development. Yet at the same time, if you look at his docile, kind eyes. Oh wait, yeah, this is this is a thing. Yeah, just figure out all the bullshit I was about to say. Uh, that's that's an honor <laughs> one. I gotta check this. Domestication. I think I'll give it a 0 0.5. I mean, like along the lines of, of selective breeding, we can get rid of the the disease aspect of it. Yet again, I don't know what sane person would want this thing. The only thing I can think of is, is violating the Geneva Convention, you know, creating uh, a biological weapons. Well, this this could be like morbid entertainment. You know, it's like, yeah, fly, fly. Now, brain capacity. I mean, this is a, a tricky situation. Uh, uh, do I have to measure the heads individually? Do I average them out? Do I combine both of them? I mean, one could be bigger. Questions to be asked in the Wobbledock community. I may need more time uh, to decide this, but just for now, we're gonna give it a one. Even so, the fact that it hasn't tried to escape and has accepted its fate as a tool of entertainment for my channel, Rocky's dog has earned itself five out of six points. Congratulations. Look, personally, I'll give it like a four out of five. I, I love the double heads, okay? I love the functional legs. Well, semi-functional. I mean, look at them. Look at the fucking legs. But I hate the fly wings, dude. I just, they just disgust me. I hate them with a passion. But great dog. Great dog. Our next contestant. Waka Maka. Waka Maka. Waka Maka. Am I saying that? Oh my god. It's, it's just... I'm speechless. It's just it's so fucking awful. Why, why would you make this? What? Physicality? Is there is there anything to judge this? Park? Zero. City streets? Zero. Wilderness? Zero. This is this is the first time I'm going to have to uh, put zeros on everything. This <laughs> this is just built for extinction. 
The pigeons, the pigeons will be able to kill this thing. Look, look, Brick, if you want me to, I can, I can euthanize you right here, right now. If you, you just, let's be real here, okay? This thing is gonna die. Th this, okay, come on. This, this thing is just a walking starburst. Mental fortitude. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a, a one for a, a resisting the urge without a job because I don't, I, come on. I mean, unless the kid is stupid. Domestication. I kind of wanted to give it a 1, but I'm going to give it a 0 0.5 because this seems like something people would constantly breed to have an easy source of food. I mean, this thing can't move. I mean, what is it going to do? Attack you? For brain capacity, I'm going to give it a 1 because it's, it's clear to me that this thing is in constant agony. It is conscious. It's made self-aware of the hopeless situation that you put it in with the only thought in its mind being the question of why, why would its creator give it no limbs? Why would his creator do this? What crime did this thing commit in order to earn himself this horrible, horrible predicament to be criticized in front of a live studio audience of 10 viewers? Earning Brick, one out of six points. Congratulations, Brock. Congratulations, Brick. Wow. Personally, I'll give it a six out of five. I, I, I am impressed that you have managed to achieve this. This is amazing. That must have taken a long ass time to do. And honestly, it, it, I, I don't think I have the, the heart to do this. I know it's a bunch of zeros and one, but it's like, come oh, on, what, what's wrong with you? You managed to um, do what I asked of a uh, no no. no. Just, great, that's, that was great. And our third contestant is, Quagga. This one actually looks pretty normal, uh, and it's called Oral the Second. I find these kind of names funny because it kind of implies that they're not good enough to have a unique name. All right, they gotta live up to Oral the First. Okay, you have a lot riding on the line. Oh wow, this is a big dog. Finally, we're getting nice looking dogs, but I still hate the fly ones. <laughs> Physically. Park. Will it survive? Hell yes. That's nice. that's an automatic one right there. I mean, look at it. It's huge as hell. I mean, what's gonna stop it? A child? A five-year-old in a playground? Huh? Children will weep. Adults will fear and cower at the sight of this thing. Though I am a little bit hesitant, mainly because of the, the, the coat. I mean, god, that is a walking sharpie. Bring so much attention to itself, but even if animal control is called, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna do shit. Now I'm wondering about Orpal first. Is it bigger or is, is the second one like the improved version? Is there a family tree? Bloodline? City streets. Absolutely. It's capable of scavenging. It's capable of uh, defending itself. Mainly the intimidation factor, but that's the thing. All right, it's a threat. People will want uh, to get rid of this thing. We can't allow this hellhound running loose in the city. Ending it off at 0 0.5. I left you for like a minute and this is what I come back to? My personal score is going down. Wilderness, uh, you're, <laughs> you're not finding this thing in the wild. Now this thing ain't gonna blend for shit. Small animals or prey are, are gonna be able to see this thing from a mile away, man. Or it could be a ruse, you know, to predators it looks like an easy meal, it's easy to spot, all right? But in reality, it's a little vicious beast with rabies. Wait, it doesn't have, wait a second, it doesn't even have a mouth. I gotta reevaluate everything. For park, I'm gonna keep the score, but I'm gonna change City Streets to a 1, because the whole reason why I even gave it a 0 0.5 was because, you know, this could harm people. But without a mouth, I, you, you could slightly lower down, you know, the threat level. So basically, a lovely blue fluffy winged dog down in the streets, okay, that would be a cute sight. That begs the question, then, how the fuck does it eat? Does it absorb uh, the, the minds of the people's psychic energies instead of radiation like Nono's dog? It can use its thunder thighs to crack people's skulls! Anyways, with its new development, uh, I'm gonna give it a 0 0.5 because the only thing it's got going for it is its size and the claws, I suppose? Mentally! Resisting the urge about a child, that's, uh, that's a 1! For domestication, I'm gonna give this one a 1. With the mouth out of the way and its huge size, its nice big old tail, I feel as if this would be great as a family friendly pet. These could probably be therapy dogs. We get a monopoly here, all right? Everyone will be dependent on these dogs for their emotional well-being, okay? Their mental health will deteriorate the moment it goes away. <laughs> Though I'm a bit worried because this thing can choke slam a child. Now, brain capacity. I mean, I can't really say. It's It seems mellowed out, all right? It seems calm, relaxed. 
tranquil, probably drugged out, arguably the least annoying out of the first two. There isn't an ounce of betrayal in his eyes from understanding that if they do try to uh, start up a queue, they'll be harshly punished. Orpal the second has earned itself 5.5 out of 6. Congratulations! Personally, I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. I love the fact that it's huge, it has a nice long tail. Like I said before, I hate fucking wings. I just, they just so disgusting. The stubbles are a bit weird, I'll be honest. They look like tiny buttons I can tap on. And it's it's just it's just a big dog. It's just big dogs. I love big dogs. It's a personal bias, but you know, it's better than those crusty white ones, I'm sorry. And our next contestant is... Nobody. Yeah, so we only had three coats and technically two contestants. But, you know, that was that's fine. Uh, I'll be honest, wasn't expecting much, but you know, the fact that you guys even uh, put in your codes, thank you. I was waiting for like a month for that. <laughs> but will there be another one? Ah! I mean, I'm gonna put the comment down there just in case uh, people do, or more, more people would like to participate, but I'll probably just do one more. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. I really need a green screen. I must button here. Okay, I don't know how, I wore this like maybe two or three times.